Greetings Shenanigamers and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. As per the norm, we looked down upon our solar system, flying around. But an interesting comment came in there on... Oh, I can't remember what the video was. But for the challenge to create a Ptolemaic or Earth-centered solar system. Because way back when... When the vast masses of the Earth thought that the Earth was the center of everything. There was a few bright sparks that uh, argued against this to their own safety. But uh, the geocentric model would have Earth at the center. And have all the planets, all the known planets at the time. Including the sun and the moon. And stars orbiting earth and uh, yeah so listen i can't blame people for thinking that way um through learning and you know tests and theories and and hard science that's how we expand our knowledge and our, our horizons so to speak so the ptolemaic uh, model we're going to have a go of it so um i'm going to have to mess with the uh, gravities and stuff in some degree, especially with Earth anyway. So let's clear the slate, shall we? Now, I think at the time they only went out as far as Saturn. So we're just, we're just going to pause. And uh, you, my friend, are going to be still. And you're going to be at the center, the center of everything. And from there, obviously, our closest visual neighbor was our moon. So, um, let's go to about, actually, ah, go away, orbit. Um, let's put the moon, actually, the moon is a fair bit out, isn't it? Isn't it, I say? Of course it is. Let's do... That. I can't remember the exact distance. Because, yeah, that's me preparing. <laughs> and let's view orbits. As well. Okay. Now, from there, we need to go to Mercury. Because we would have known Mercury. Um, let's try and just put Mercury out at about that distance. And then, of course, Venus. Uh, I'm just trying to get Venus to kind of come out around... Here, because at the time, I don't know how accurate the distances were. Well, it seems as though they thought that the Earth is at the center of the universe. Maybe not quite. So let's put you here. And then it would have been, as far as I'm aware, the sun. Um, I think I'd know these icons by now. The sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. Let's go to the far side, shall we? And we're going to have to mess with masses here, by the way. But let's put you about here. And let's go back to planets. So that would put Mars. Actually, we're going to have to mess with you already. Uh, okay. Mass. You're way too big. <laughs> so you're 333,000. Which is all fine. It's all groovy. You're a little hot bubble, aren't you? <laughs> so we're just going to put you down to about 100. Or should we put you down to like 1,000? 
Now let's, let's let's put you down to a hundred. And Mars. Uh, we're going to have to increase you, my friend. To what does a hundred Earths look like? Thousand Earths. Three Jupiters. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to mess with these because that's where I should have really started. Uh, five. Five Jupiters. Let's go with five Jupiters to begin with. So let's. Okay, I'm gonna delete the moon because you're way too close. Way too close. Okay. You seem to be stable enough there. Where's everyone else? Mercury. What's everyone's orbit like? Mercury. Way too close. Let's get rid of these guys again. Boof. And boof. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Okay. So, Mercury, my man. Do, 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 do. Here we go. It's going to be tricky. So, let's put Mercury out about there. Let's put Venus out about here. Speed run. The sun. Where's Venus? So the sun's going to have to be about here. Come here, you. Yeah. Is there two suns there? There is. So you're way too. You're overpowering my Jupiters. Um, four. Let's go with four. That'll make the Earth bigger. Anyway, moon, did I delete my earth? No, did not, shenanigans, actually no, I can't put that in there, I need to put that in as still. So, I don't know, what happened on my earth? I look back and go, oh, that's what happened. I'm putting you up to the size of five Jupiters. Um, okay. So. That's. Okay. I think that's the orbit of my Earth. Yeah. Okay, so we have Venus. We need to go back to planets. And uh, we need to go to Mars. And it needs to orbit. So let's put Mars out about here. Yeah, let's go with that. And then, of course, we need to go with uh, Jupiter. So we put Jupiter out about here, and then our precious, lovely little precious planet, Saturn, you need to be out about here. So, come here to me, you. I'm not putting moons in this now. Um, because they're probably... Mm, Maybe they would have seen, they probably would have seen the moons off uh, Jupiter, at least anyway. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to put them in. Uh, powers, 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 powers. No, add. That's what I want to do. And Saturn. 
There we go. Right. So, get rid of you. Here we have the Earth with the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun. And then we have Mars. It like, it's like, hmm. It's like these two are on, well, I suppose because that's quite, I'm going to knock it down. It's almost like a binary system. Um, put it down to two. It's still quite bright. <laughs> it's it's almost binary esque. Uh, oof. So there's our system, with the exception of the sun and the earth. I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably going to be completely insane. And I had to mess with the mass of the Earth. We have Mega Ireland. Oh, yes. Everyone likes their um, fast food on this Earth. Because we're all super heavy. Yay. So this is my uh, Ptolemaic solar system. Uh, check it out now because it's not going to last long. <laughs> anyway, let us watch the shenanigans. And let's speed up things here. I know it's going to be an absolute shambles. You can already see Saturn's... Saturn's orbit is all, it's going all funky. So. Let's just see. Let's see what's going on. Um, some fun things. <laughs> yeah. Now. happened over here what the heck uh, right so Saturn wouldn't have any uh, rings and has uh, lost itself in this uh, beautiful balanced solar system here It doesn't know what to do with itself. It's not so pretty. Not a good job for you, Saturn. Okay. So everything else seems to be going okay here. Our little binary system. Um, Mars. Forget about it. I say we're about to lose Jupiter. So it's not looking well. Maybe this video will be worth a revisit. Oh. Well, welcome back, Saturn. And, and, and good luck to you. Jupiter. Mercury, Venus. The moon's good. Mars is back. And it's orbiting the sun right about now. Doesn't know what to do with itself, does it? <laughs> Mars, no. Um, Jupiter's hanging in there. And then I say that. Saturn's back in the game. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what it's going to be. It's just going to be a series of them coming in and coming out because of the sun as well. Venus's orbit has been warped. It's coming into contact with Mercury. Could be some interesting shenanigans there. Now look, we're we're four years in. Everyone is still here. Um, 
Mars. Who the hell are you? There goes Mars. Hey, Mars. Hmm. Now, sorry for the sim speed because I'm actually rendering something here. I'm actually taxing my computer quite a bit. I just wanted to test it as well, but it's going okay. We may not get the silky smooth super uh, time transitions, but anyway. But I'm liking this kind of little orbital dance that's going on here. It's actually working. I'm going to put that down as success. Who do we lose there? No one. Everyone is there. Kaboom. I know we're six years in. Long term. We're not going to stay here for five million years. But right now, it's actually looking pretty good. We've had almost a revolution off our sun. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, they're coming in and coming out. But... I'd put money on maybe one of the gas giants losing it, but everything else I think would be good. So the Ptolemaic or Earth centered or geocentric solar system. Hmm. Yes, and on that bombshell, I would like to say thanks for that su suggestion. Thanks for all your likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, everything like that. And thanks for helping me out on GoFundMe and Patreon as well. You are absolute legendary. And uh, as always, I will see you over on Facebook, Twitter, and here. And uh, yes, in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye.